So with me, I've got some antibacterial multi-purpose wipes. I have my surgical mask. I'm wearing my surgical cap, my glasses, my hair's tied out of the way. I've got some vinyl disposable gloves. I've got my journal and a pen. I've also got my enclosed shoes, my long pants and a proper work shirt. So now that we've got PPE out of the way, let's go wash our hands. So I'm taking off my watch, my hair tie, get down nice and wet. And then we're going to be using our soap. Now that we've just washed our hands, we're going to get our disposable gloves. And our mask. And for our restraint method, we're going to be using Rosie the dog's collar and leash, as we've got here. So let's go. And now we're doing the distant exam for Rosie. So I have her owner holding her and setting her down. And I'm just going to give her a check over while she's at a distance away. I can see that she's a nice healthy weight, probably a two or a three. She gets fed a good diet. Rosie's uh, quite an old dog. She's very calm and relaxed. She can be a little bit stressed. So keeping that in mind, but I can see that she is a Labradoodle, she's female, she looks a little bit old and she has a few fatty deposits, but that is quite common with uh, Labrad Labradors and Labradoodle mixes. She's lying down, she's quite in a submissive pose, I can see that there's, apart from her fatty lumps, there's no real main issues that I should be addressing. Her mobility looks quite slow for an old lady, but you will see her in the next clip and she'll be moving around. Here she is, she's got a happy tail, her mobility is quite good, there's no uh, stress on any part of her body when she's moving, you're not seeing any pain, she's quite an active dog for her, someone her age. Now physical exam. So again we have her owner sitting down with her keeping her company and we've got Rosie on by the leash. And that golden cord in the way is the charging cable. So I'm explaining the procedure to the owner. I check the ears, make sure they're clear, make sure there's no extremely bad smells. Rosie tries to make a move, so we give her a little bit of encouragement to sit down. I'm saying sit, and she does eventually sit. I can see, again, that she hasn't got any problems, you know, sitting down or moving.
and then out of focus but I am checking her eyes and her other ear to make sure that they're nice and glossy and then we check her gums and mucous membrane they're looking very good and then I'm doing a dehydration chest where I'm pinching her and her skin snaps back very quickly because she does drink a lot of water. This humping movement that she's shown doing here is uh, quite a weird uh, movement that she does when she's got the collar on. It's completely normal and her owner reassured me on this. I just thought I'd point it out. And then next up we did her heart rate and it was the third time we had to film it. There was a bit of background noise and it was really hard to hear her but eventually you can hear me counting out the heartbeats and she got 19 beats in 15 seconds which we times by 4 which is 76. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to give Rosie here her flea treatment, and we're going to do is we unscrew it, really, and we're just going to do it just, just a little bit below her collar, so we get some skin, and we put it there, and we flea, and then we rub it in. I'm going to show Rosie how we pay, and then we're going to give her a little quick room, and we're not going to use this brush. Very curly hair, so we're going to use a softer brush and then we can turn it into just a little brush like that.
here I included the tools that I used, the brand of topical flea treatment that I used on both dogs. Here's what it looks like on its own, single use. Take the screw off. And then next is the grooming tools. It was a double sided brush with soft bristles and hard bristles. You can see I've got my mask on, my glasses, my gloves, my work shirt. I have got my long pants on and hard covered shoes. So you want just, him? No, you're not going for a walk. <laughs> okay, He's very just, compliant, Olivia. Yeah. Starting Starting timer now. Boy, and last one we need to do is breath. Okay, you're breathing pretty quick. <laughs> So this was a home visit and they needed to quickly run off to a prior dinner engagement so I'm going to show you how to how I would have cleaned up the treatment area. I would have used a vacuum to clean up any loose dog hairs, if you dropped any scabs, anything we're just going to give it a nice vacuum over. 
this is if it was uh, done on a carpeted area at the owner's home and next I'll be showing you what it would have been like if we had completed the exam on a table. So I once again have my trusty ultra multi, multi use wipes and I am getting one of those out. Pushing that out of the way, and we're going to give it a good wipe over. Make sure it is nice and clean. This is if we were treating the animal on the counter or a desk. So we are wiping it down with the antibacterial wipes. In a vet scenario, I would be using F10 as well, but seeing as this is a simulated home experiment. We are just using the antibacterial wipes and as you'll see we're using the Ajax multi-purpose spray. And please follow the directions on the back for use. There we go. And lastly, we are going to be washing our hands after we have done that distant exam, the physical exam, and cleaned up the treatment area.